Okay, look, I'll admit it. There are a lot of strange things that dogs do that I misunderstood. I thought I knew the true reason why dogs place their paws on us or why they rub up against us or why they love toilet paper and ripping up their toys. But, well, I was wrong because it turns out that a lot of these strange behaviors actually have secret meanings that I could never have guessed. But now that I know them, I am so glad that I do because it means that I understand my dog, Starbuck, so much more. One, why do dogs' eyes flicker while sleeping? Have you ever watched your dog sleep and noticed that their eyes seem to be open and flickering? I've noticed this with my dog, Starbuck. You can see here that his eyes are open and they are flickering and rolling back into his head. And I'll be honest, the first time that I saw this, I was a little scared. I was worried. Is he okay? Is he having a seizure? And well, it turns out that he was absolutely fine because it's actually very normal for dogs' eyes to flicker during the REM stage of sleep. During this stage of sleep, dogs will sometimes twitch, sleep talk, and yes, flicker their eyes. That is because, like how we dream during REM sleep, dogs dream too. And they're just reacting to their dreams. Two, why do dogs bark at other dogs through the window? Have you ever been on a walk with your dog and gone past a house and had another dog bark at you through the window? It can be pretty scary. Dogs can be very loud when barking. And I'll admit it, Starbuck is one of those window barkers. And at first when he started doing this as a puppy, I was concerned. Is he being territorial and trying to scare the other dogs away? And while some dogs will do it for that reason, most dogs are actually doing it for the opposite reason. Instead, they are barking because they want to go out and meet the dog and play with them, but they can't because they have this window in the way. This makes them frustrated, and so they bark. It's called barrier frustration. Starbucks trainer told me that the way to tell the difference is to see how they react when another dog comes into the home. And for Starbuck, ever since he was a little puppy, he's loved having dog friends come over to visit him. He isn't trying to scare them away, he's trying to get them to come inside and to play with them. 3. Why do dogs sigh before going to sleep? Have you ever noticed that when lying down to go to sleep, your dog will sometimes do a little sigh? It's very cute. Starbuck does it a lot before falling asleep, and it made me a little concerned. Is he annoyed? Because if I sigh, it's usually because I'm annoyed or disappointed. And yes, sometimes when a dog sighs, it can be because they're feeling that way. The AKC has noted that if your dog sighs with their eyes fully wide open, then yes, they're probably trying to communicate that they're disappointed. You might have noticed it if your dog has asked you to play, but you can't play right now. They'll sometimes sigh as a way to let you know that they wish that you would play. However, sometimes dogs sigh for a very different reason. It's to vocalize that they're feeling really relaxed and happy. And you can tell if your dog is sighing for this reason because they will do so with their eyes half closed. That is why it is especially common for dogs to sigh before going to sleep with you nearby. They feel relaxed, safe, and happy with you. Four, why do dogs rub themselves against us? Have you ever noticed your dog loves rubbing themselves against you? My dog Starbuck loves to rub up against people. And I wondered, what does it mean? And well, it turns out that there are two reasons why they do this. The first reason is the most obvious. They like you and are happy and excited to see you, which makes sense given their ancestors, the wolves, will rub up against each other as an act of affection. And so they have left this instinct in their DNA. But the second reason really surprised me. It's because they have scent glands on their faces. And so when they rub up against you, it is their way of marking you with their scent. By doing this, they can communicate with other dogs that might come into contact with you. It is a territorial way of them telling other dogs who smell the scent that they left on you, hey, this is my human. The way to tell the difference is to look at the other body language that the dog is expressing. And for Starbuck, it is very clear that he is just very happy and wants to express it. Five, why do dogs shift positions when sleeping? So you might have noticed that while sleeping, your dog will shift positions a lot. Us humans do roll around when sleeping, but we don't move around anywhere near as much as dogs do. I'm sure your dog is like Starbuck. They will wake up and 
walk away from where they were sleeping just to go to sleep in a new spot. And at first I thought, well, they're probably just doing this to find the most comfortable position. And sometimes that is why they do it, but it turns out that they do it instinctively as well to keep themselves safe. When they lived in the wild as wolves, getting up in the night and moving around kept them safe from predators by not hanging around in just one spot. But it also kept them safe from something else. Fleas. Yes, when they lived in the wild, if they stayed in just one spot for the night, it made it very easy for fleas and other insects like that to lay eggs on them and to get into their fur. Which is why many wild animals, not just dogs and wolves, will change positions throughout the night too. 6. Why do dogs hide under the bed? Have you ever noticed that your dog likes to rest or hide under your bed or under other surfaces like tables? I know my dog Starbuck does. He loves resting and sleeping under my table. And at first I was worried. Is he hanging out under there because he's feeling anxious? And sometimes that is why they do it, but there are other reasons why they do it too. One reason is that if your house is busy, they might want a place to snooze that is quiet and away from everybody. But the other reason is that Usually, the only one that goes under your bed or table is your dog, which means it is a private, enclosed space just for them. And the desire for an enclosed, private space is something that their ancestors, the wolves, left in their DNA. Wolves like to find dens to rest and sleep in. And since our dogs can't sleep in caves like wolves, sleeping under our table or bed is the next best thing. Seven, why do dogs love chewing on bones? So chances are, if you've ever given your dog a bone to chew on, they love it. And that is because just like our teeth, dogs' teeth need calcium to be nice and strong. Now, of course, chances are your dog probably gets plenty of calcium. Since most dog food, including raw food diets, are specially formulated to meet their nutritional needs. However, back when they lived in the wild as wolves, life wasn't so luxurious. And so to get their calcium, they would need to munch on bones. And so even though they no longer have to hunt for their food, dogs still love munching on bones. Eight, why do dogs love toilet paper? Yes, it's true. Many dogs love toilet paper because it is easy to rip up and tear to shreds. And it's not just toilet paper that they love to make a mess out of. They'll tear their toys to shreds or your couch and pillows to shreds. So. Why do they do this? Well, I used to assume that they did it because they must be feeling bored or anxious. And while that is sometimes why they do it, it turns out that dogs just find it super fun to shred stuff. And so some dogs, even if they get a lot of enrichment, are going to do it anyway. They just find it a lot of fun. And that's because they are natural predators. When they live in the wild, dogs will hunt their food and tear it apart. And while it's true that most dogs now live in safe, warm and comfy homes, this predator instinct to tear and shred prey apart is still in them. That is why I got Starbuck this, a de-stuffer enrichment toy. It's designed so that dogs can rip out the stuffing. As a puppy, I would give this to him a lot, and it worked. It let him get out his shredding instincts while keeping my toilet paper safe. So then, does your dog do any of these strange things? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Starbuck and I would love to have you as part of our community. And to learn more about your dog, be sure to watch the next video on screen. We will see you in the next video.